Welcome to the Figure It Out Podcast, y'all. We are here with our guest, Samora. Who is... Samora. Oh, I introduced myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at it. It's all right. That was on me. That was on me. Yeah, like, I totally allied it and fucked it up. Yeah, it's okay. You did. You did. I'm going to act like that never happened. Let's try it again. Welcome to the Figure Out Podcast, y'all. I'm your host, Brian G. I am Terry Lamar, and we have a special guest today. Samora. And she represents Sam Oras. Ooh, <laughs> body butter for our ashy people out here. Are you ashy? I mean, not right now. Oh, okay. I got on He's not ashy. Aura. We good. <laughs> well, she gonna check you. She gonna make. I'm trying sure. to stay still. Oh, so, it's like a, so it's like a commercial. All right. Oh, uh, <laughs> commercial he might be ashy. <laughs> Damn, boy. So you need to get your song. Hey, I probably do. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Some more, what, 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 tell us more about it. Like, how did you get into that? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, funny story. I used to buy body butter from other people. Okay. Specifically, um, Essential Roots. Mm. And she she blew up. She blew up. And um, one day I went to go buy some, and I waited a box, probably two hours <laughs> in line. And when I got to the inside the store, she sold out. No. Nah. So yeah, my heart broke. So I went home and started researching how to make body butter. So you <laughs> broke her heart. You see what happened? You played your own name. I was playing. I was broke her heart. And I was like, I don't need no. Now nah, I'm gonna take you down. I was playing. playing. <laughs> no, I just did research. I'm like, right, let me see how easy is it to make it. So yeah, I, is it, it is it that easy? It is. It really? is. That is to me. It is. Like what goes in the process? You ain't gotta uh, tell us everything, cause we, ain't, you know, what I'm saying we ain't gonna get nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you ain't gonna get the come up over here. Huh? Uh, the process really, um, the butter is oil. You basically melt it. Once you, but you have to do um, use a double bo- boiler. Oh, okay. You melt it. Once you do that, you put it in the freezer for a period, maybe or refrigerator, approximately probably thirty minutes. Okay. And then you whip it. Oh, you whip it. Yeah, you whip it. Whip and it. You, you know, if you whip want to add extra, you know, extra oils, essential oils, you do that after you whip it. So yeah. Okay. How long have you been doing it? Almost a year now. Almost a year. <laughs> hey. We almost had the year anniversary. I'm telling yeah. you, and I, I see it's good. Brian showed up use it up all the time. I sure do. Ooh. I see hey. this man with that thing in his hand all That's the time. That's how I stay. That's how I stay looking 23. Stay moisturized. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I look like that. Hey, only? Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's one and only. By the way, I got to get some more because my girl's been, I don't know what she do. She just run through the shit. Yeah. I'd be like, how the fuck? I use it every day, body morning and night. I'm like, it's good. This should be fucking me up. I'd be like, you're not even oily. Like, I'd be like, how much are you using? That's the whole Because I'd be point. feeling like she just slapping this bitch on the you're bottom of her feet. You're not supposed to be oily. You're just supposed to be moisturized. because yeah, that's how that's I look. Whole, that's you know the whole point. Tattoos out here popping. Y'all better get it. All right, calm it down. Calm Sorry, it down. You know what I'm <laughs> Let me calm down. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to have a heart attack. Oh, Shout man. out to all my old lady followers. Oh, <laughs> Get y'all God. pacemakers up. I'm just, I'm all dead. the aunties. All of y'all, you feel the grandmas. Uh, everybody that got that little, you know what I'm saying, a little arm flab back there. Oh, that's me, I mean, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got that good mac and cheese. That's a double meaning. <laughs> I'm dead. All right. Now, so, you said you do that. Uh, what's the goal for Sam Mars? The goal is to, of course, expand. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like every entrepreneur wants to have a business where it could work with or without them being there. So right. the goal is to take it to the next level. Right. You know, right now we're still new, but, you know, I want to add more things besides body butter, like, you know, body oil, scrubs, shimmers, soon to come. But, you know, eventually I want to expand. That's the, okay. that's the big goal. Growing business. <laughs> Got that bomb ass body butter. 
And she's going to expand all that other stuff. So y'all better keep it coming. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You gotta start from somewhere. <laughs> so like, my thing is when it comes to the body butter, does it, is there any pressures with it? Like, do you feel like you're pressured by anybody from an outside source? Like other competition? Do you feel like you have competition or are you only competing with yourself? I definitely have competition because now... I feel like everybody named Mama got the, body butter. Yeah, the holistic um, industry has grown, especially during the pandemic. So yeah. I definitely have competition. However, I don't worry about that. Yeah. You know, I don't worry about other people because what's meant for you is going to be for you. Yeah. So I just do my thing. You know, I do my thing, promote myself, promote the business, and it's going to reach somewhere. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Hey, y'all, we back at it again with another ad. You feel me? I uh, know. Don't skip through this now. All right? I'm watching. All right? We have Sam Auras. All right? Body butter. You know what I'm saying? I put this on my lady. She all up looking good. Glowing. You know what I'm saying? Black Nubian goddess. You know what I'm saying? But, fellas, you need some body butter, too. All right? Don't be walking around here all crickly and crackly. All right? Don't look good. Right here looking like a pavement. Look like a sidewalk. So go ahead and get your aura on, you feel me? And let your aura shine through your skin. Get you some. I'm like, why her teeth out like that? Like, <laughs> Tina, relax. <laughs> but that's not Tina though. Well, that was Angela Bassett. Oh, that was Angela Bassett. Angela had them teeth busting, boy. You didn't see how her mouth was when she was saying, I'm dead. Oh, they gotta die on the shit, ah! I'm like, was busting. They, they wasn't? <laughs> Tell me Angela Bassett T wasn't out there like that. I love Angela Bassett. That's one of my top five. She's fine. Angela Bassett is definitely <laughs> to top day. five. You see her now? Oh, was she bad, good. boy? When she was in Black day. Panther. She it's looked bad. bad. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't even give a fuck about the other girls. I was like, damn, boy, I want the queen. I want the queen. <laughs> I want the Got queen. I want the queen. That nigga daddy died. I was like, shit, yep. boy, I'm you know, in. now that you got an opening, you feel me? Just, I couldn't see, I couldn't work in that village. I couldn't work in that village. I would have fucked stupid. it up. I would have been like, well, you know, queen. I know well, you, you know, know you know they would have sent your ass with the border tribe. Oh, yeah. All right. Stay on yeah. Now. The king would have sent me over. <laughs> I don't the trust it. <laughs> they would have had one of those, what the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, you looking real familiar? <laughs> <laughs> now, don't I know where you're from somewhere? A long time ago. I'd have been like, no, 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 no I don't, don't think so. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you're from the border tribe over there. <laughs> no, 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 you're you mistaken me for somebody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so. Chahim, shut up. This one is going to turn into a... A whole musical. If you I'm had telling you, man. You, I couldn't be there, bro. I'd, I'd have fucked it up. I could, that's why I know I couldn't exist in times like those. Right? I would fuck it up. Yeah. I would talk to the queen. I'm stuck right Yeah, that's and then on top of that, I'm not bad. Oh, I'm not going yeah, down on my knees. You got to get on your knees. Yeah. I'm so y'all saying if y'all just woke up I would been doing that. They're going to kill me. I would have died. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. I talk too much shit. Yeah. I'm stubborn. First off, who the fuck? I don't listen to who the fuck we calling a peasant, bitch. Yeah, we're right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have peasants. Like why that. is D in the kingdom? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why is D? The fuck why you talking to? Who is D, bitch? <laughs> Who is D? Exactly. I'm gonna let you know. Who the fuck is D, bitch? <laughs> no, but we just we just had that question in like the other episode. Like, if you woke up as a slave, what would you do? Damn, I, yo. <laughs> the thing is, because back back in the day, supposedly they had regular slaves and they were house slaves. Yeah. If I'm a house slave, I'm poisoning everybody. Everybody gonna die? Wow. The white man? Everybody gonna die? And they ain't gonna know you. Yeah, wow. they all gonna be gone. <laughs> they all gonna be gone. Because the thing is, back in the day, if you pay attention to slavery, they, they attacked our mental. You know, they made sure you didn't know your, you didn't know your name, your family. Yeah. So it was all mostly a mind thing. So if I have the mindset that I have now, and I wake up slavery times, I'm poisoning everybody. Everybody gonna die. Sorry. If I go back with a Glock, it's over. <laughs> no way to do it. And and you yeah. come out a gun like you don't got go back bullets. with a Glock, it's over. Yeah, but I'm like, taking over but the they south. Got guns. Like, so I got a better gun. Start poisoning everybody, man. <laughs> they gonna, everybody go. They gonna think they're like, oh, this Negro is magic. I'm just gonna <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I've never seen him cast such spells. <laughs> the magical Negro bullets. <laughs> <laughs> it's that shadow cat magic. <laughs> like. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm telling you, man, the black, listen, they gonna, I'm gonna separate first off, they gonna be fucked up because I'm gonna come in there and talking crazy. And I'm like, ah, what you doing over here, boy? I'm like, fuck you think you talking to, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, cracker. Better calm your oh, ass down. He's like, man, you don't start who the that. hell? Who the hell does this boy think he is? <laughs> Cletus, get over here. We're gonna have to whip oh, this nigga. Uh, uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Right, what what's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> just bow. What does that? <laughs> I'm just gonna be busting. Bow, bow. I'm like, all the slaves, we free. Yeah, I rather be quiet. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll poison everybody. I'll go her with. I'm going. That's go her just like, straight. Because I'm back in the day too, the, you know, everybody plantation. know about their plants. You know about your plants and certain things. Yo, she food. Gonna, she gonna sit there. Food. She gonna be a hitman. They gonna put her in different slave houses. <laughs> Like, that's your next target. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm down for the Dalvin. They gonna hey. do, but you know, but you know it's in a different time. So they gonna they gonna deliver it by pigeon. By pigeon. <laughs> she gonna unravel it. Or next eagles. target. All right, this plantation address. All right. <laughs> Message received. <laughs> the pigeon. The pigeon gonna self destruct. <laughs> so, gonna be feathers everywhere. That's funny. I just found out. I didn't know that the way they train pigeons is like. It was a pigeon for each person. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, send the pigeon on. And you, yeah, you just blindfold to put them in a cage and then put them somewhere and they'll just fly back home. Could I didn't know. Like that, that, no, no. Could you imagine yeah, that's, that's time crazy. like that? Yeah, I thought they just flew out. Not now. Like, Back then, yeah, because you didn't know all about this. But could you imagine yeah. that? Like, if you didn't have a phone, imagine if you went back there and you just. Like damn, bro! I got a man. I'm not lie. You can't hang out. Like not you, having a phone would have been an inconvenience. Yeah. Because now, if you want to call someone, you have to run to the payphone <laughs> just to well, make a but call. But imagine we in like olden <laughs> times where it's just pigeons and and carriers. Like somebody got ride on horseback. Could you imagine how long a text conversation not, would be? By land, yeah. by land. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to text. You gonna send a pigeon over? How is thee doing today? <laughs> no, but you, you couldn't text. You have to write letters. Yeah, six 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 hours later. What is it? Six days later, you'll get it back. Yep. That's crazy. Damn, that would, that would like hurt my feelings. Imagine being left on red. Oh man, like, man, it's like it's not, a, not, not, a pigeon well. once, but. not a pigeon just don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's coming, it's coming. Like damn, boy, she, damn, she just imagine late texters back then, late boy. Texts. Oh my God, I'd have but, sent. Mm -mm. But everybody liked writing letters back then. Yeah, everybody that's true. Was into it. Damn, but you know you, you can't, had no choice. But there's no auto. Like you can't even correct it. You can't delete it. You can't do none of that. True. So imagine fucking up on a letter you don't realize till after you send it. Yeah, <laughs> you just think you about it. Correct like, yourself in the next. You like damn, bro. I shouldn't have asked for that. Like, like. You over there like, damn, I, I might have jumped the gun. Like, like, hey, can I pull up in your village real quick? Like, oh, your village. In your village. <laughs> can I slide over to your village real real fast? You feel me? Like, could you imagine asking for some booty back then? <laughs> all of this is relationships couldn't exist. Not at all. They but, did. Man. Well, some letters. <laughs> man, they love someone. letters. Man, them shits took months to get back. Imagine a nigga not knowing. He's like, man, you know, I'm going to pull up on my female. Comes in. Your patience, you know, you got to have patience. Man, you go over there. She got a whole new family. She done had like, like four kids. You, you know, y'all been sending letters for like six years. Six years. Oh, damn, that's a long time. He's like, I miss thee. I miss thee, <laughs> I miss thee so much. <laughs> Pull up on thee <laughs> on the morrow. On the morrow. I'm sliding on my Steve, girl. I'll be there. Slide on my Steve. Yeah, if I go back, bro, I'm, hey, listen, I will mess up Shakespeare, all that. Yeah, definitely. They gonna be like, where is thee from? I'm like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm from, I'm from, you know, what I'm saying, from, from the Korea. I'm from thy crib. Down south, you know. <laughs> you probably changed the timeline, though. That's probably true. Because oh, you went back in time. Oh, Lord. And you're from the future. But I'll be the shit. But you don't belong there. But what if he was always supposed to be there? No. Nah. Ah, because now our no. future will change, too. But what if something that happened in our past no. wouldn't have happened if no. he never went no. to the no. past? No. Mm -mm. No. I don't know. It doesn't work. Yeah, like what Timeline, if, like, you know, what, going back in time doesn't work that yeah, way. No, down. like, like yeah. on some real shit. Like, what if you went? What if like Roswell and all that stuff was just somebody that just magically landed somewhere? Magically. Like you just figured out time travel and just landed somewhere, and they were just like you was dressed like a like a Kanye supporter. Kanye so they, supporter. you know, they ain't never seen clothes like that before. True. So they like this must be an alien. No, but Kanye clothes. How about Yeezys, they, don't they have holes and stuff? They kind of yeah, look like that. They look homeless, but but let's be honest, my nigga, them shoes, them shoes, they gonna think you alien. 
It's the, it's the 40s. It's Roswell. They're going to be like, True. Where is he from? I was like, he, yeah, These shoes was... are otherworldly. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, We must study him. Yeah. They're going to come in there and they're going to show you, you're going to show your phone. It's probably an iPhone but 6S thing, Plus. Because you ain't thing. got money. But once you. Do that. You change the timeline for the future. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he changed the timeline. So Maybe now imagine person. our future. Damn. We'll probably be, be even more advanced than we are now. Do you feel like technology is too much? No. It is too much. Really? I mean, and it's moving at such a pace that it's becoming too much. Wow. If that makes if that makes sense. It's just the way it's advancing. Like what they're yeah. using technology for. Just That's to make us lazy, pretty much. Make us lazy now, right? Pandemic. My, my boyfriend's niece and nephew used to love to go outside. Yeah. Now they're stuck in this Fortnite game all day, every day. Oh. They say, oh, let's go outside. They don't want to go outside anymore. They used to beg to go outside. Now they just okay being home playing Fortnite. I'm not gonna lie, like it's so weird. You remember Most as a kid going outside, like that was the that was the that was, thing. Yeah. Like, going outside getting that was tired. The thing and to you do. had to make it back home before the sun goes down. Yeah, you can't yeah. come inside when you're thirsty, they tell you to go to the water hole. <laughs> that was like perfect. It was, I mean it was you life. remember drinking out the water holes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy. The best. Oh. <laughs> I used to overdo it. Except it when you left it in the sun. Hurt. I'm dead. You, you know, you left it in the sun and the water got hot. Oh, <laughs> man. I used to hate drinking at that time. I'd be like, come on, mama, please. <laughs> like, man, stay your ass out. So I'm, I'm going to be inside the hot hole. Outside. You ain't going to be in and outside my house. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you no. can't. I used to hate. You can't go in and out. Now these kids, you can't even get them out. Yeah, you want to stay in. They just want to stay in all day, every day. We and sound old. To me, fuck. that's crazy. <laughs> no, how is that old? Going outside nah, is like, good. We sound old. Like think about it. You remember our parents used to say the same oh, shit about God. us. No, I used to love going outside. You no, crazy. I'm saying like think about it. Like think about oh, the things yeah, we're complaining. Right. Our parents used to complain about certain things about us. Like what was our thing Watching again? Watching TV, probably. Watching TV Listen too to much. Listening to radio. Listen to the radio. Listen to music. Yeah, yeah, no, but they was over here. Take you know what I'm saying? Girl, you make me want to shout. Like they over yeah. here listening to shit like that. But we was listening. We, you know, one. Here comes the two to the three <laughs> to the four. Hey, they don't know nothing about I that. It <laughs> all, all depends on what you play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, I just feel like we, we doing it now, but it's like every generation has a different problem. True. But I feel like these kids grow up way too True. fast. They are. Like. They are. Like, my mm. niece, oh, my God, she's four years old, and she's so smart. Yeah. Too damn smart. <laughs> I don't know about these kids these days, though. I don't care. They, I know we sounded like our parents and stuff, but these kids they, are on another level. Hit or miss, hit or miss. Because you I, have some kids that, you know, that, Looks promising. There was other kids like, wow. Okay. Being raised right. A couple of them being raised right. Yeah, like on some real shit. I don't know. I just, I feel like it's interesting. I feel like, I feel like the future is going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting. Right? Like, I don't know what to expect. I'm waiting for flying cars. Like, can I see a flying car before yeah. I <laughs> they I like they got it. I want to teleport. I want to teleport. I'm gonna be scared. I'm sorry. I, I just teleport. think about all the things that can teleport. Wrong. That's one of True, the best but, but I want to teleport. Imagine a, I don't have to drive. Oh, mm-hmm. let me teleport home. I'm gonna, <laughs> what if I'm, I leave a body part though? Just, no, mm-hmm. I have confidence that my whole body parts is gonna mm-hmm. teleport to the next you gonna, location. You gonna make it to your destination? You ain't gonna have no ass. No. <laughs> like, where's my booty? <laughs> Where is my booty? I left it at home. Listen, ma'am, it's still processing. You have to stay in the it's tube. Still processing. You have to stay in the tube so it can develop. No, no, no. <laughs> Why would I teleport? If I come there and I lose my hair, I'm be mad. Yeah, it's it's a- It'd be Fuck no. What if that shit take all the good hair out? All, all the, the hair, good hair. All, all the hair follicles go out. Now I have. What? I got the Bruce Willis one. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, fuck. <laughs> I feel like I'm a treat teleporting like how old people back in the day used to treat airplanes. Right. Like I'm gonna be look like literally like I ain't flying on that. I ain't doing it. I'm not doing the teleport. Oh, yeah, nope. I, I ain't gonna do it. Teleport. I'm gonna wait till about I'm like 95 and I'm like, oh, this wasn't that bad. I, I should have did I'm this a long time ago. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I could have pulled up on all my little... I could have been able to get to the bathroom so much easier. You know what I'm saying? I could have just looked. Oh, I'm here. 
But yeah, I, I'm definitely down to teleport. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like they got that already. They got everything. They got something. They got something. Flying the military. Cars. The military works in the van, so they have something. Man, they got all. They that. have something. That's why I'm scared for us to go to war now, cause like, like it's the world's gonna when you end. you watch Transformers. Mm-hmm. Um, what other movies that came out that's like so advanced in technology? Yo, that new movie that came out on Netflix with um, what was his name? Anthony Mackie. Uh, he he's some type of robot. It just came out. Oh, I think I yeah, okay. I get what you mean. Yeah, and then, and then, but the thing is, he looked like a, a he human, looked like a human being. Yeah. yeah. What movie had, is that? Oh, I forgot the name. Yeah. It's on Netflix. It just came out, and it's it's kind of interesting to, really? to see because something it's like about a live wire or something he, like that. Not oh, that's live wire. Well, wire. The wire out. Outside the breach or out breach out, out, something outside the wire or something like that. I mean, yeah, something like that. I gotta see that because it'd be some Netflix be hit and missing. No, but I ain't gonna lie, Netflix those, has been been on the street. But that's one of those movies though. Like it starts well, then it just. Whoo. Oh, yeah, damn. the ending is just like, okay, why? Yeah, like <laughs> why? Wow. Yeah. It's like the, the writer got lazy. It's like, all right, I'm done. That plot <laughs> twist, I was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, like they could have made something. They could, yeah, they could have made it better. So it was just a lot of good foreplay. That's literally what we're saying. Pretty right? much. They like, just uh, left you with the blue ball. That's all. I'm dead. <laughs> hey, you, you got hit with one of these. Why did I come over here? <laughs> <laughs> but that's just to show you. You want some juice? You want some juice? <laughs> you good? You want a sandwich? You want something? Sandwich? <laughs> no, I'm not hungry. Right, you go. <laughs> Hey girls, when they be unsatisfied and shit, they like, go. Hey, we start looking like, like they don't be, they don't make it. They, listen, they don't try to hide it at all. Girls be like this. Girls be and start rolling your eyes. Like, and don't be the one that you pick them up. They be. Oh. Um. You so are you ready? Like, do you need to call me an Uber, like, because if you're gonna take a while, like, I could just call an Uber and just leave. You know. Same. I have to also ask him to pick me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I think my friend stays hurt, over here. That hurt, man. You know, oh, hey, you know, you know, hey, listen. They'd be like, oh, my friend stays over here, and then a nigga come and pick him up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. damn. You'd be like, oh, That's he gonna finish what I started. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walked her up. <laughs> hurt so much. Oh, oh man. man, you don't wanna be no alley oop, bro. You don't, you don't wanna. <laughs> Yeah, nah, that shit be killing me, bro. I don't know, man. Like the, I don't know. I feel like you know, everything's different now. Relationships are different. I don't know if our marriages are gonna be the same as our parents. They don't have to be the same. They don't why, gotta why, be the why, same. Why you, you don't want it to be the same, but you want to hold. But certain. the thing is, like, the role mar- when it comes blurred. to marriage or a relationship, it's, it's a matter of choice. Ah, okay. You yeah, gotta, you, deep you, deep. you have to choose. No. I feel like every day when you wake up next day to that person, that's a choice that you're making that you want to be with that person. So that's a choice. choice so it's huh? a daily choice. Do you feel like you have a choice in finding your soulmate, or is it like no choice at all? Hmm, that's a, that's interesting. I don't think we have a choice of finding the right, your soulmate, nigga. I'm but I think versified. but I think it's a choice staying with that person. Okay. Do you feel like people run away from their soulmates because they don't match what they... Their ideal thinking? Yeah. Yes, because they a lot of people, um, you could say, no, like they listen more of culture than anything. And culture is not always right. Hmm. Do you feel like people in our generation do that more? Yes. A lot of people listen. They feel, for example, celebrities. Everybody like, oh my God, I want, I want, this is relationship goals. Why is that relationship goals? You just see what they're putting out but you don't know what's behind the scenes so why does that portray your relationship goals without knowing the details i feel like our parents did the same thing but we we just don't realize it because they did they did it differently it wasn't more for outside aesthetic purposes it was like for them it was like security and survival they were more like hey look I do love this other nigga but he wants to travel around with the temptations and not make no money (laughs) you know what I'm saying like he ain't even singing he just playing on the guitar and I got this other guy who's a what's a good job back then what insurance salesman something like that but he's you know what I'm saying it's secure now you done had kids with him but you love him I feel like our parents made them choices but us is more along the lines like, oh, this nigga's ugly. Superficial. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, this nigga's ugly. I love him though, but he's five foot two. Like, 
I love him though. He's five foot, and I'm five eight. If you ain't six feet, yeah. Boy, you know, great stuff like that. I'm like, imagine this is the same thing. Imagine everybody's taller than me, so. Yeah, but you know, it's always a girl like you be with like somebody that's like six foot nine. You'd be like, why? Oh, <laughs> you ever notice that big dudes, or big it's huge dudes, dudes, always get like, like some small like girl? Like, how you doing, baby? <laughs> it'd be a little, it'd be a little Taco Bell dog having sex <laughs> with a with a great he's dame. Not, he's like probably five, five, five nine. Okay, so he's yo, he's about, he's not super tall, but nah. he's average height. Yeah. What's well, above slightly? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm do a dude. I'm gonna do a dude reference. Slightly above average. Slightly above. <laughs> We'll get that. We'll get that. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Do you, are, so do you feel like your choices you've made were more along the lines of what you wanted in your relationship? Yeah. We just lost half our viewers. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's, like, ah, ah, it's, it's, a, it's a dude watching right now. Ah, man, she got a nigga. <laughs> man, I ain't I'm watching this shit no more, man. I'm dead. I'm about to buy the body butter and <laughs> shit. Man, yeah, fuck look this, at bro. Look at it. Yeah, fuck this, dog. <laughs> Be another nigga that was in the bathroom. No, what happened? <laughs> nah, so so you made them choices. So you straight with yours? Yeah. Okay. I am. Okay, that's good. That's good. The thing is, like, when you rely on, like I said, based on culture, culture is not always right. Yeah. And culture changes mm. because culture is usually is like a trend. People follow the trend. You know what's in style, what's not in style. But okay. It's best to focus what's make you happy. You, because at the end of the day, what makes you happy is what you have to live with. Do you believe that morals change as we change as a society? Morals or do you do believe change. morals stay the same? Morals, it depends on the moral, but usually I will think the moral is supposed to stay the same. Because if yeah. I you know, don't go around killing people just for the fun of it. Like. <laughs> so do you think that's something that should always remain? Like something that should stay steady? Like it shouldn't evolve. Do you think? Do you think morals should evolve? Morals should should evolve to a certain level. Yes, they should. Okay. I think so. Do Why you, not? Because the time do change. So yeah. So do you think that we right now, we're at the point where we shouldn't evolve our morals, or they should just like we already have like a base and maybe like tweak something here and there, but it shouldn't be like an overhaul like how people are with their relationships or like I don't want my I don't want to have my parents' relationships because I want to have my own and things are different. Like, do you believe we should keep the core morals, or they should evolve? Why not both? You could keep the core and still evolve and make the tweaks within the core. Mm -hmm. You could do both. Yeah. Why not? You know? Because to me, like, for me, I don't see things as black and white. I feel like there's always a great area. There's always room to improve. There's always room to, to be better and do better. That's and my like, favorite line. So at the end of the day, like, yeah, keep the core, but if the core needs improvement, why not? I like that. Yeah. Since I we're like getting it. into these questions and stuff, let's go <laughs> and move on to my favorite segment. What is that? Word? The figure it out segment mm -hmm. with our Donnell Jones hat. I'm there dead. we go. <laughs> we don't even. I, I don't know where the hat was the last like six episodes, y'all. I lost the hat. Lost the Maybe hat. Maybe that was God. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. I That's not. I've you never worn that hat before. I'm lying. I have. <laughs> Now, I'm going to explain it really quick. We have a hat filled with questions. The questions come from four different topics. Yes, sir. The topics are, would you rather? What if? Versus. Or, would you rather? Versus. Facts or no. Okay. I think I said them all. Yes, you did. <laughs> Y'all just make sense of something in there. And now, instead of envelopes, we got them all in one hat. So it's random what you pick. We are going to let y'all just like guess. we just gonna figure it out like which one it is. Pick right. first. Yes. And she just picked that out fast as hell. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh oh. So what if? What the hell? <laughs> it's a what if question. Aha. Uh -huh. And it states: <laughs> After being married for five years, you find your spouse have another family. That's crazy. Who the f like, what damn. the hell type of questions y'all submit? Very, very explicit. Uh, what if, what so I the question to ask some more is, is it going to be a homicide or a divorce? Probably a divorce, not a homicide, because I'm not going to jail for your, for your fuck up. So are you going to leave them? Yeah, what You're the not going to work it out? 
You have a whole other family. Hello? What the hell is there to work out? But he loves yours more. Yeah, what, what if that other family was the backup family? Excuse you, what? Listen, there's starters you know, and then there's bench players. You know what's okay. so funny about questions like these? When it portrays to a woman, they expect the woman to stay. But what happens if I had a family after five years? Would he would stay? Would, would, you, would you stay? You know why I say that that question, why it goes like that? Because how the fuck are you going to hide you another family? <laughs> what, were you hiding from me for nine months? Hey. What the hell were you doing? Never know. When, when did you pop this baby out? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, when did you pop this baby out, huh? You expect me to believe that? What, what you adopts, laying eggs now, she bitch? She probably adopted, you know? <laughs> she adopts kids. Okay, now that that probably yeah. that's probably how that would go. But if that happens, like, maybe she goes tell the other guy, "Hey, I can't have kids. We have to adopt." Oh, maybe the other guy already has kids. Oh yeah. Okay. And she bring him <laughs> on. And, but you know, probably no, no, they don't have a mom, or he doesn't have a wife or anything, and she just. Damn. So but either you way, gonna I'm be, leaving. You gonna be selfish? No, I'm leaving because you yeah. can't just allow them to have their part time daddy. What? Mm. <laughs> a uh. part time. Not <laughs> <laughs> You can't allow that? No. No. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'm not staying. That's funny. No. <laughs> so, no. You've been lying for five years. No part-time no. daddy. No, no part-time no. daddy? No. So, no chance of getting back together? For what? Okay. We tried, y'all. Uh, oh, no. uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, listen, man. This, you know, it is what it is. No. All right. Whatever. All right. <laughs> she was like, know. hell no. No. No, no. I'll be damned. Well, you've been, love, but you love you've that been man. lying for five years. Yeah. That's a long time. I'm talking about five years. Y'all happy, have, and you everything. Y'all don't went on trips. And then you have like a whole other family. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, I got a question. <laughs> what if... For you to be able to hide it for that one? What if instead yeah. of catching the guy, he comes up to you and he's like, babe, that's something No. Like <laughs> No, it's still wrong. Hold on. Wrong is wrong. You can't justify hold on, hold on, wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Where's your favorite place in the world to be? Like, what is your dream trip? My dream trip? Um, definitely. Is it? No, not Bali. What's the other one? Fiji. Okay, so let's just say he took you to Fiji, right? Mm -hmm. And just, just listen to the scenario. He took you to Fiji. He, like, he redid y'all vows. All your family and friends were there. That's what Everything. You know, just wait, just wait. All your family and friends were there. He bought you your favorite meal, bought you a beautiful dress. Y'all had a beautiful night. And then the next morning, he was like, listen, baby. And he's like, before he asked, he said, would you love me no matter what? Like, no matter. So you're going to say yes. No. The, no. like, like, cover, like, yo, it's basically you covering the ice. I'm just saying, what, I'm icing, just saying, like, like what? Uh, okay, and then he's just like, listen, uh, I have something to tell you. You just gonna just say fuck? No. <laughs> You're not gonna work through it. Yo, it's been five years. And you have a family for five years. <laughs> what yo. if he say he don't know if the shorties is? <laughs> so you didn't take a DNA test within five years? Nah. Nah, you tripled. Damn. Oh, that's so crazy. Right. Hey, that's the message to you, bro. Don't fuck up. To me, it's like this. Now, because now you, you, you start thinking, okay, so all the other times you say you were going on vacation or you were somewhere. Now I'm starting to wondering, okay, maybe Damn. you were with this other family. Yeah, you know, Pandora's box. Yep. You feel me? Because yep. now you start wondering, like, okay, is everything else is a lie. And me, I'm like, lies. I'm, I'm open and truthful. I, have I like that. Like, I like my phone, that. my man got passed. I hope we pull. I, I have nothing to hide. I hope we pull that. I hope we pull that question out. So, I like that. I like she said that. So yeah, I, I'm not. I don't like lies because there's no need, especially to lie to me. There's no need to lie. Like, mm. Too broke. Mm. Wait, too wait. Broke. The audience want to dig in here. Mm. Huh? The audience want to dig in here. She she okay. she she slid someone under the rug. She said passwords. <laughs> she did mention she, she, passwords. She, she, she slid that. underneath the rug. <laughs> Password, no. Passwords to your My phone, social media. Oh, yeah. Wow. I didn't know. Wait, you give all that? Yeah, if he's able to pay, here we go. Hey. Same thing that. You don't think nothing of that? Yeah, like, and you know, all that, the why I say that is like, you don't, do you feel like. Like to you, that just it just doesn't matter. To me, it's normal. Why? Because ever since or uh, the beginning of our relationship, it's we we had that foundation. Like, oh. He wasn't so big on social media, and I was, and I had nothing to hide. Like, 
Because to me, like, I don't delete anything. Anybody, anything guys and I don't delete it. Why? Because I have nothing to hide. For what? So you don't, don't so care. you you don't think like for you in your mind like it's just like whatever. Yeah. Like, like so like like that doesn't seem like to you like a a thing of like not trust. How? In he's way. not going into snooping my. Phone. Oh, he's not snooping. He's just no. asking to see it. Yeah, like we use each other's phone and shit. We know oh, we know each other's password and all right. that stuff. Okay. But like if he goes on some on my social media, like I don't care because cause, like I said before, he wasn't he didn't use social media. Oh. So he used to use my social media. And oh, so he'd be on there surfing. So, I, I, like I said, I don't care because, like I said, I don't have anything to hide. Because mm-hmm. when you're happy at home, like, what's in the streets in the streets. So, True. like I said, I don't care. Because <laughs> when you build that trust and you, like, it doesn't matter. To me, it's a normal thing. Yeah. Other people are like, oh, that's invasion of privacy. For what? That's only if you feel like you're, you're hiding something. I have nothing to hide. I don't know, though. Because for, for, me, for me, I don't feel like it's an invasion of privacy. But I don't be like, I don't check your phone and I won't check mine. But mine maybe could could be due to the fact that I've had instances where I've checked phones and been like, like you know you have that that intuition and I don't check it like the when I found out it was on like this past relationship I didn't realize what I was doing I was just like hey you got games on your phone back then I was broke I ain't had no data you know I was with you shooting in the gym bro but we yeah, go way back bro I know you ain't about to tell me to get in the back seat for her how long you knew her. Bro, it's me and you since the beginning. I'm just what trying to say? figure out. We playing Uber or you playing with lotion tonight? I, what's the saying, Brian? I, what's, what's saying? The, mm-hmm. I, I Bros can't say it. before. before who? Um. Um. You said you want me to get in the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, the I back. think that's a good idea. <sighs> Yeah, 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 I mean, shit, you ain't even no problem, Can you problem, finish your bro. sentence, hey, though? Um, it was bros before just, what? Bro, I, bros getting it. Matter of fact, pop the trunk for you me, You know you're going to get in the trunk? Yeah, yeah brother. Okay, I got you. I, I get the trunk, trunk pop. You. Trunk pop. Right. Thank, trunk thank pop. You. Thank you, my brother. Y'all, yeah. y'all be blessed. Um, okay, all right. Y'all having a good time uh-huh. in the front seat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't fuck you. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Okay. So you was just going to let him sit here like that? Jesus, love is a bubbling over. Yeah. Terry, you ready to go? You ready? You ready to go? All right, we gonna go. We, we gonna go. He in the trunk. We gonna leave. All right. And this has been another episode of the Figure It Out podcast. I am your host Terry Lamar. I'm your host Brian G. And our special guest Samora. Samora, please tell them where to follow you. Or anything you have coming up? Follow me on IG on at Sam Auras. Um, I have body scrubs, body butter, body oils, shimmers. Call at me. No, I'm saying. <laughs> Stop being ashy. Stop being Stop crazy. being ashy. That's the goal this year is for us to Take get y'all to stop skin. being ashy. Take care of your skin. All right. No ashy ankles. That's all I'm ashy. saying. And 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 please buy her product still. Cause some of y'all be like, damn bro, she got a nigga, man. Yeah, nigga, man. Why her, you man. brought her on here though? <laughs> I was just about to buy it, bro, till she said she was happy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't. Yes. Oh, All right, and of course, y'all know, stay prayed up, stay positive, and keep grinding, y'all. Yeah. It's been another episode of Figure It Out. All right, cut, cut the camera off. <laughs> <laughs>